Hope you're doing well on this Monday. Something I hear regularly in my car, you missed your turn. I will admit, I have a horrible pattern of missing turns and exits. And a few years ago, on the way home from Paducah, this habit would cost me a lot of time. Even with the GPS fully loaded with precise directions, I missed several turns. And some of them missed the same turn multiple times as we would be forced to turn around, go back to an earlier position, or completely redirect. We were simply wandering in circles around and around with no clear direction. As I began to look back on this day, I reflect on how life can often similar can be similar to this trip. Although we made it to our destination, we arrived frustrated and not in the timing that we originally had planned. There have been a lot of instances in my own life where I feel like simple mistakes were putting me in a never-ending cycle of being stuck. Whether my own choices or someone else's, there was a frustration of never getting quite ahead. Perhaps you can relate to Pastor today when you thought maybe you were getting a, you were getting a raise, you thought someone else... Uh, should have not got the promotion that you had been praying for. Have you ever had times when maybe you were prepping to buy a home, trying to get out of debt, uh, considering to launch a new business, only to have an unexpected situation just completely change plans? We weren't, uh, we're not the first, and we're not going to be the last to experience setbacks or changes of plans. I am reminded of the children of Israel from Exodus 3 through 15. We can recount their story of being rescued from slavery so that they could walk into the promised land. The issue, however, is the 11-day journey turns into a 40-year wilderness experience. In fact, many of those who left Israel never saw or entered the promised land, but instead they wandered in the wilderness in a constant cycle of complaining, watching God respond and worshiping idols. They, They never quite learned to trust God that He could deliver them and put them in their promised land. What I found interesting was found in verse 17 of Exodus 13 when it says, Pharaoh finally let the people go. God did not lead them along the main road through the the Philistine territory. No, he did not take them on the shortest route. God said if the people are faced with a battle, they might change their minds and they might go back to Egypt. In other words, this detour through the wilderness wasn't due to a missed exit or turn through the desert, but instead the Lord made a choice to delay their promised land arrival. The Israelites were simply not ready to walk into what God has said belonged to them. God knew that if they faced any form of opposition, they would turn and run back to their past. So rather than allowing this to happen, God positioned them in an area where they would have to depend solely on him for nourishment, strength, and encouragement. Their wilderness situation was obtained, or was ordained rather by God to get them ready for the promise. Unfortunately, this uh, pattern of getting stuck was just over and over. Is it possible, that, and this is what kind of stood out to me today, is it possible we're cheating ourselves out of the promised land? In other words, could it be that God wants to advance us, but our attitude and our thought patterns and, uh, patterns and actions are standing in the way? And though we all hate to admit it, we are at times our worst enemy. And God in his goodness decides to withhold from us what we're not quite ready for. The psalmist said, and it's found in Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is an offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. When is the last time we prayed a prayer like this? amid our frustration of waiting. During times when it feels like we are in a constant cycle of defeat, do we pray for the Lord to show us our hearts and reveal any ways that are offensive? These hard yet powerful prayers followed by an intentional change can be what it takes or what takes us out of the wilderness of wondering and into our land of promise. So today, uh, if you're watching this Monday Man, if you feel like the passenger on a journey that will never end, ask the Lord for insight. You were never meant to wander indefinitely. Instead, the Lord wants you to walk into what you were created for. And when we pray honest prayers and we seek the Lord for direction, he will lead us to where he has called us to, and the timing will be just right. I hope this is encouraging you today. We have had a great weekend at Harvest Church. Powerful day of services good crowds, and uh, we're expecting a great week here as well. If you want to come be with us, we've got prayer tomorrow night, Tuesday night uh, at 7 o'clock. Wednesday night, we have our midweek refresh worship service at 7. We have Celebrate Recovery at the Helping Hand here in Humboldt at 7 o'clock, where we talk to those that maybe have struggled in the past or are struggling currently with drugs and alcohol addictions. And then on uh, this coming weekend, we have great things in store for again, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, Sunday night Bible study at 5 p.m. We're gearing up for Mother's Day coming up May the 8th as well. Thank you so much for being here with us today. God bless you. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday.